hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be looking at the solutions to question number one for biology paper two uh, for 2020 gce candidates this is a uh, question number one and question number one has a uh, figure 1.0 shows the plant uh, cell which is labeled a b and uh, c and uh, the first question is uh, A1. So question number A1 reads, uh, name the parts labeled A, B, and D, C. So we are supposed to identify the parts A, B, and D, C. So part A is simply the vacuum. And for part B, which is uh, shaded, this is actually the nucleus. And for part C, so for part C, we have to be cautious when we're labeling a plant cell. The outer ring for the plant cell is a cell wall, while the inner ring is the cell membrane. So we look carefully where C is pointing. So C is pointing at the inner ring. So the inner ring, that is the cell membrane. So this is the cell membrane. So that is how you identify the structures here. So we have the vacuum, the nucleus, as well as the cell membrane. So these were the solutions to A1. Let's move on to the next uh, question. So the next uh, part of the question is uh, A2. And for A2 says, name the organ in the plant in which figure 1.0 is found give a reason for your answer so the plant organ is the leaf so figure 1.0 is actually a parasid uh, cell if we are to identify the type of cell so this one is found in the leaf then the other reason is that it has got a chloroplast so chloroplast will enable it to be found in the leaf because the leaf is uh, green in color because of chlorophyll which is contained in the chloroplast. So the reason is the uh, presence of chloroplast. So that is the solution. So we can move on to the next uh, part of the question. So the next part of the question is uh, B, and for B it says describe two adaptations of the cell in Figure 1.0, which enabled it to, which uh, enabled it to carry out its uh, functions. So the first adaptation, which we can actually see from the structure here, Figure 1.0, is that one, it has got a main chloroplast. And apart from that, it has got a rectangular shape. This rectangular shape enables it to have a light surface area. So those are the two adaptations. So we can write down those two adaptations. So we are saying the first adaptation is a presence of many many chloroplasts. So here you have to basically emphasize that you indicate to say there are many. Don't just say presence of chloroplasts because we also have guard cells as well as the spongy cells which also have chloroplasts. So that, those do not qualify for the adaptation of the parasite itself. So writing the word many, that is the keyword which has to be present to say it has many chloroplasts. Then the other adaptation of saying it has in a rectangular. As a rectangular shape to increase its surface area because the larger the surface area the more photosynthesis is able to take place so those are the two adaptations of figure 1.0 to enable it to carry out its functions so we can move on to the next part of the question 
and the next part of the question is question number C. So question number C says explain what would happen to the cell in the figure 1.0 above if it was placed in a test tube containing distilled water. So distilled uh, water is a hypertonic solution meaning that the cell could gain water So the cell would gain water and the process by which the cell is gaining water is by osmosis. So we say the cell will gain water by osmosis. So once the cell gains water, the cell will become turgid. So that is the solution to question number C. So these were the answers to question number one for biology GCE 2020 paper two. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can hit the subscribe there button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.